welcome to another edition of To The Point. BJP has sounded the pole bugle in Uttar Pradesh at the recently held National Executive at Allahabad, where they have tried to weave a reforms agenda along with development. But there have been incidents in the past which show that along with development and a reforms agenda, polarization could be another layer of the campaign in this crucial state. Joining me now is the Minister for Minority Affairs, Najma Heptullah. Welcome, ma'am, on to the point. Thank you. Uh, before I go into the details of how the things are panning out in UP, uh, two years down the line, there initially when Modi government came to power, there was a sense of fear, at least that was made out to be that the Muslims are living in a fear. At the end of two years, are you in a position to say that the Muslims are staying in a, some kind of a new normal circumstance? Exactly. That fear was created, okay. created by those opposition parties who didn't want Narendra Modi ji to be successful. They were the ones who were creating an atmosphere that if Narendra Modi ji becomes a prime minister, then the country's Muslims will be killed, massacred, the minority ministry will be dissolved, so on and so forth. And at that time also, I was saying it is not going to happen that way. They were creating controversies like topi, nahi pehni. I said, Muslims today need roti, rosi, rozgar, not topi. But uh, Many I, I, people have made them wear a topi and then did nothing. But ma'am, I totally agree with what you're saying. And obviously, we, we also haven't seen any major riots uh, in these uh, two years. But w whichever state has undergone an election, like Bihar, Delhi, there have been incidents where some kind of a polarization was seen, where Muslims felt a little alienated. For example, in Bihar, there was a whole lot of beef politics, which, which was in the air. Then uh, Dadri, of course, was the same case. So how would you really assess a situation like this? You see. I have my report card of my ministry okay. because all that propaganda that you were and I were talking about was baseless, useless. There have been no rights that you rightfully say. A little bit of speaks and talks, it goes on with mm -hmm. two and quarter billion people in the country. Everybody has a different view and different language and different way of putting a thing. But as far as the development of minorities are concerned or the minority ministry is concerned, not only that my budget was not reduced, but it was increased a great deal. We have spent 99 percent budget of allocated to us on development for the But minority. talking about states like Uttar Pradesh, I'll tell whatever you about amount Uttar has Pradesh been allocated. Also, I was in Uttar Pradesh a couple of months ago and I in uh, May, I think I was there. Mm -hmm. Twice have been. I went to Lucknow and I started Madarsa in Madarsas skill development program mm -hmm. in seven Madarsas in Uttar Pradesh, mm -hmm. where other people, the other governments have been talking about Madarsa modernization mm -hmm. and talking about all kinds of things, but they didn't do anything. It was only when so you're pointing fingers at the Samajwadi Party government. Not only that apparently Samajwadi, they have the not Congress done enough. Party has been in power. The Samajwadi Party in the state. What have they done for the mother son? They are presently ruling I, the state government. Yeah, they are ruling. I I started skill development program for the mother son, so that the children coming out the mother son can can have a very meaningful, respectable earning also for them. Religion is not the re religion is not the way to earn the living. But Samajwadi Party p uh, leaders, they call themselves pro-Muslim. They call themselves yeah, champions of Muslims. I know it is cosmetic. So what did you find lacking? What did you find lacking? Of course, lacking? I find lacking because when I look at the thing, when I judge it, I look at it from the point of view of development, okay. their economic situation, their educational deficiencies. They were educationally deficient. They were economically, naturally economically deficient. They had no skills taught to them, whatever the traditional skills and craft like carpet weaving. I am talking about Uttar Pradesh only, where the weaving is concerned, the weavers in, in Banaras or Bhadoi 
or the or those people who are doing other kind of skill in which especially minorities the muslims are involved what have they done for them so you say that there is a marked difference than what the yes, situation was during exactly, the upa government exactly i'm telling you that when i went to lucknow and announced it uh, uh, our home minister he was with me but the chief minister says that they don't get funds what is talking about 128 I don't know how many crores. I don't remember exactly the figures. I I won't tell anything wrong, but they were outstanding. The money which they had to return to us, they did not. We had to make an agreement for them to have a settlement of that money. The money for the MSDP, multi-sectoral development program, which I sent it to to them, to be distributed in the various schemes. They don't send us the the completion certificate or the utilization certificate, so we we are stuck halfway. The projects are stuck halfway. What do they do with it? So these Now, are the major stumbling blocks which at the moment no, your ministry is facing. What we have done is hmm. most of the things we are doing direct benefit transfer, right. scholarship we are sending directly to them so that there is no third party involved at state level. We are also doing the skill development program under. Uh, for the madrasa which is under nai manzil and manas maulana azad national academy for skill for which the world bank has given us 50 million dollar so the, if the world bank gives us something for a program it's a very comprehensive very right. productive program and this change i went to banaras also i launched my ustad scheme where we are going to identify the skills uh, especially the banarsi the zardozi the embroidery the the now i have started the jute that 5000 muslim women are involved despite, in the jute uh, man, industry man despite this ambitious program which you are talking about and which which undoubtedly your ministry is working on and in the years to come we'll see the results also but why is there an impression that a large section of muslims still feels alienated and because modi government is carrying on probably a hindutva agenda and that's the reason the muslims They are, are still not feel. what you are saying is not correct okay. that's what i'm trying to tell you with the proof i don't have the photographs with me if you want i can get them right. the the meeting which i had in uttar pradesh in lucknow they were 5 thousand muslim people majority of them were women and burqa clad women i have a photograph which is which was on twitter in which i am standing in between all these covered with burqa women so are you hinting so at the fact they come it was i am a narendra modi uh, government's minister i am his minister Home Minister was over there, Rajna Singh ji. He is also the Modi government. So, are you hinting at the If fact the that this is just a propaganda by the opposition? Of course, it is propaganda. They are worried now because they see the change among the things. But the, but now, uh, for a moment, for a moment, if we believe that it's a prop, it's a, it's a it's a propaganda by the opposition. But what about leaders like? uh, uh sadvi prachi yogi adityanath time to time sadhvi they'll prachi keep saying he is not she is not part of uh, our government no, but she is yogi not part of the he's a lok sabha mp no she, who para uh, yogi adityanath uh, he is but he is not saying anything he, now what time to time he said time to time he keep talking about the resurgence of the ram temple I, issue uh, uniform the, civil what code. is there ram uh, the ram temple is decision has come by the supreme court So Ram Temple is no issue. Ram Temple is going to be built. The so, is this going to be an issue during the the, the Uttar Pradesh elections? Now, it is not an issue for us. The issue is Ram Temple is there. It will be built. That is not an issue anymore. Court has given the decision. The issue is Vikas. What is happening in Uttar Pradesh is lack of Vikas, lack of focus. that is creating a kind of unrest among the people there is law and order situation because people have no jobs right. so they there is a law and order situation because the law and order situation there are many things which are happening which an offshoot of it people are moving from place to place in search of job there are uh, gun uh, carrying people who are scaring people in fact i was coming to that uh, the the all, all the hype which has been created on kerana that small town in shamli where uh, uh, the bjp mp hukum dev himself said that some 350 more than 350 families they have migrated hindu families have migrated he and other national hindu families i read his statement today he said 
families have migrated. There was some error in the in competition. Some people had died or moved earlier, which is there. So the error can take place. But people are moving because there is law and order situation. There are no jobs. You can understand if there is no peace in a place, if there is law and order situation is bad. There is no job developed. There are no development over there in Uttar Pradesh. But initially, Lok Sabha MP Hukum Dev himself said that you know the situation in Kerala is almost uh, similar to what we saw in Kashmir in the 1990s. I don't want to uh, comment on a colleague's statement because I'm not here to comment because he has not told me what is reported in the newspaper. I saw it when I meet him. I'll ask him. But what I saw today, but he is. Clearly said on the television, I heard him say he never mentioned any community. He said people have moved, people move out of a place out of fear, out of out of compulsion because they need to earn living. Yes. If there is no jobs, if there is no occupation, naturally people. Why people from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar moved to Bombay? You think there was, and they are going for many, many, many years. So you think the law and order situation, there was communal situation everywhere? No, people go for better postures, better where people go out for better opportunity. I totally agree with uh, what you're saying, ma'am. But initially, when Kerala came to light, at least the perception initially was that they are trying. The, the government probably is trying to uh, flare up a communal polar, no, polarize, it is polarizing the agenda. The opposition is trying to make it into that. We, our focus everywhere, whether it was election, the national election, mm. Narendra Modi ji's focus was only Vikas. Even when the bombs were blasting in, in Patna, and I have repeated it so many times, I am sure people must have remembered it by there heart now. There is no now. doubt about Modi ji's Modi agenda ji's of development, ma'am, but what worries the entire country and also as opposition you say, is a double narrative which we have seen right from the initial days which is playing out that Modi ji will talk about development and probably Amit Shah ji is going to talk about something on the Amit communal Shah lines or also polarization. also didn't talk about anything but development, nothing but development. So is it a true, and, is it a two pronged strategy no, which BJP is following? Not at all. Okay. It is one, one strategy is development. Okay. Development and development and development, whether it was Assam, you see the result in Assam. Right. We never polarize anything. It was only the focus was development. I'll give you an example. I went to Moregao, Nayagao, which is which is majority Muslim area. From there in uh, Nayagao, out of six out of eight six MPs from BJP got elected. The Muslim must have voted for it. No, some Muslims. places they did not oppose, some places they positively voted. Undoubtedly Muslims are shifting towards the BJP, but the narrative, the worries, the, the leaders, the analysts, the observers, you that you feel. know, sometimes, sometimes some RSS member will say something, then you know, again we'll hear about they development, then worried. again. Nobody gets worried, I'm, I can assure you. They are not worried at all. There is no worrying thing that was all created even Bihar, before Bihar election. All that uh, Wapsi business, the uh, award Wapsi was going on. Love Jihad, then Ghar Wapsi, and nah, then. Nah, that's all right. Everything is now back in their own. But what about beef politics? And now that there it has no been proved that the, 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 the. There is no beef politics. There is, it happened. An incident, a man was killed. It was I'm, wrong. Ma'am, I'm not going to name the leader. It's first from the BJP, off the camera. They told us as journalists that now that the forensic report has proved that the meat found in Aklat's fridge was was beef, so probably this issue is going to be raked up uh, during the UP elections. How would you really Did they say that? off the camera or, or on the off camera? Off the camera, that's what I'm saying. Off the camera. Off the camera, I don't react. How? Why should I react which I haven't heard? But there's no smoke without fire. I don't know. I mean, you are saying there's fire, uh, smoke. I don't see any smoke. I don't see any smoke at all. To me, the the things are very, very clear that our focus in UP or anywhere, I'm just saying anywhere in the country is just development. Today, people just want development, development and no polarization, no as what polarization. we saw in Bihar. No, not at all. Okay. It is the opposition who have been always polarizing. Who were talking about the Muslim politics? Who were talking about the Muslim votes? Who was talking about the vote bank politics? BJP never talked about 
Okay, so few months All still left. Who was keeping, who was making the Muslim to fear and like goats to keep them in a bada, uh, creating a fear psychosis among them. Muslims are not, they are fearless. Recently, the Prime Minister visited five countries. The, his first stop was at Afghanistan. He invited the President of Afghanistan when we were, uh, we were sown in two years ago. So, he went to Afghanistan. Can you believe it? He got the highest civilian order by the Afghan government, apart from the reception which he received. Afghanistan is a totally, totally Muslim country. If Narendra Modi's government was scaring the Muslim and they were living under fear and fear psychosis. There is just no doubt about the international accolade which Modi ji is, uh, is getting. You are not but, but my point is that why is Modi ji not taking action against people who are making erratic statements? For example, a small example I would give you, a Bajrang Dal video recently got released in which we saw the Bajrang Dal activists uh, having a self-defense exercise in which they considered their enemies wearing the skull caps. Now, if a Muslim community or a person from a Muslim community sees this kind of a video, what would be the reaction? My reaction to you is that you are the one who is making it more public than they themselves. Before because, me, it, it has gone viral. It no, has gone, it has gone, viral, gone viral and now it is going to go much more viral because a very, very responsible Rajya Sabha television is talking about. I do not consider it of any importance. To me, anybody wearing anything, talking anything is not important because my Prime Minister and my party president and my entire party is only for development. So, you are taking notice of something and you are making it important. I do not make it important. Ma'am, but as a journalist, if I observe something, then I need to ask questions. That is what my job is and I am doing that. I know. We <laughs> observe a lot of things, but we pick up the right thing for the country, what is good for the country. Those people, that video or this that the Prime Minister Narendra Modi not only got reception in the Muslim country, but he got reception everywhere, wherever he went, whether it was of Switzerland, America or, or Mexico. And what was his focus? Against terrorism. And everybody is supporting Narendra Modi ji against terrorism. And the, all the agreement which we, which he has signed, they are for the benefit of the country. I cannot explain because there is no well, other this, time. This, this, this Any no other time about. I would talk about it. Then should we show such videos to make his tarnish his image or question him like you question no, him? No, our, our, our responsible did. channel like no, mine did no, not no, show no, the video. No, 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 I am sorry. But it went viral. No, that video I went am, viral which uh, people saw it on the social networking site. Shall sites? I remind you what you asked? Why Modi ji is not doing? Who are you to question him when he is doing so much for the country? You think we should congratulate him, applaud him or question him for something he should, should have done or should not have done? That is not important. What to me is important, my country is total image and total development agenda. What somebody is doing something somewhere in a huge country like India? Many people will be doing many things. I don't I have neither time nor intention. You see on my Twitter how many children have written that they got successful in various exams. They got they got a skill development training for which they made their, a change in their lives from the slum area, from the downtrodden people, from Bombay to Assam to Latu to many many places. Ma'am, we have seen that. Obviously, BJP has uh, has gone hammer and tongs with the fact that Samajwadi Party government will be targeted and attacked by them on the law and order issue, which has been deteriorating in UP. Now, supposing if there is a communal incident which happens, as a minority affairs, what would you really want to tell the Muslims, especially of a crucially dominant state? I like don't reply to, you know, uh, these kind of questions which are not there. Hypothetical things I do not react on a television channel. No, but, but if something but, happens, I will no, but react things are at happening. that time. Like Kerana, you have downplayed it. It is not your, happening. Your, your Kerana yourself. was created, it is not and happening. And the national executive, uh, BJP leaders themselves said that Kerana will be made into a big issue, there will be yes. a probe into it, and everyone is going to find out the seriousness of the situation. Of, of, of course, 
the BJP team has gone to Kerala. We have to find out what is happening in Kerala. Why there is so much of fear among the people they are running away. The law and order situation has to be examined and that is the main issue. And as I repeatedly again and please do not ask me this question again because it is wasting your time and mine that if there is no law and order situation then there is no development. It is a vicious circle. If there is no development, there will be law and order situation because people will try to extract money. But observers, free money. observers. So, this is the this is the result of the law and order situation. No governance, I would say. There is no governance at all in Uttar Pradesh, okay. and we need a change. So the, the observers when they say that BJP follows a development agenda and along with that they allow the communal issues to slowly simmer you don't you don't agree with that i don't agree with what the communal issues will not be allowed to simmer slowly or at a fast track when the this elections are this is also a hypothetical question okay point taken point taken and i'm not going to waste time on that let's come on to the another another issue and that is there are lack of faces as far as the chief ministers in UP are going to be concerned. There were two, three names which were doing the round. But at the national executive, your Lok Sabha MP Varun Gandhi's posters, he actually became the poster boy over there. Uh, how would you really look at the situation? No, not, and I do not have to react on it because finally, it will be the leader of the party, the president, the prime minister and the leadership of the party will decide who should be the chief minister of any state, not only Uttar Pradesh, any state. It was party who decided that Narendra Modi is going to the prime minister candidate in the Lok Sabha election. But the party accepted it. But in the same way, you cannot stop aspirations of the people. So, I am not going to re uh, speak on aspirations. No, no, but not the aspirations. Thing is, I am saying opposition will make it into an issue that oh, why BJP opposition? doesn't have faces. It is, no, there are enough faces. It's not that there are not enough. Now with Rajnath but saying, which would be the, he doesn't want to come to UP. Who will, who will be the face? It's not for me or you to decide. It's for the party leadership to decide. And I am hundred percent sure whoever they decide is going to be the best choice as the chief minister of Uttar. So now in a scenario where you are saying that the leader is going to be decided by the parliamentary board, like what we saw in Bihar, Sam, you did project the chief ministerial candidate in Sarmanda Sonawal and BJP won. So now again, are we going to see a repeat of what happened in Bihar as far as the declaration of candidates is concerned, where we will see probably Prime Minister Narendra Modi again being overexposed during the campaign. Are we going to see a situation like that? Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to campaign not only in Uttar Pradesh, but in every state. Absolutely, no doubt ah, about it. And that is it. And let them decide who should be the chief minister. Because Why should I worry now? But the party's Assam narrative is very different. I mean, along with Modi ji. A different party, different places, different states have got different strategy. Whatever party thought for Assam, it was Assam. Whatever they will think about Uttar Pradesh, they will do that. Whatever they think for the forthcoming election in Punjab, they will decide. Why should I worry for that? My worry as a minister is not to think who would be or spend my time and energy on who will be the chief minister. Whoever will be the chief minister of any state, he will be belonging or she would be belonging to my party. And I would be working for the agenda of development which is assigned to me, okay, to the minority, that is it. So beyond taken. that, <laughs> my, my jurisdiction ends over there. Point taken <laughs> ma'am and I am going to ask you another question which I do not know how you are going to answer me but, but there were reports that a cabinet reshuffle probably is going to happen and your name is in the race for the vice president, probably in the race for the governors. Uh, that is also very hypothetical question. You are not going to I can't answer. <laughs> no, I can't answer. You are asking a question, which I do not look into the future. I am not an astrologer. So, I cannot say anything what will happen. What will be, will be K Sara Sara. The future is not asked. So, Najma Ji as candid as ever. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on To The Point. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure talking to you. So that's it on this episode of To The Point. See you next time with another personality. Goodbye and thanks for watching.